Record better audio anywhere with Motive Digital Microphones from Shure. Easy to use options like the MV88 plug directly into your phone or computer and include a free app. Create studio quality sound for podcasts, music, and videos. Visit Shure.com to learn more. Drop that kick for me. Yeah. We rock that king of music. It's K S. Yeah. Yeah. We keen on supporting our hair. Hey. These are the sponsors for you. Hey. Let's go. Go. Hey. Yeah. I'm a kingdom supporter. Call me K S. Promoting Dolly music. That's why the rap. I'm a front line soldier. I put a work. Savior's always on my mind, that's why I put them first. There ain't no competition, cause we all believers. Ain't trying to lift nobody yeah. up, yeah. No, yeah. Just, they call me KS. I just play my part. All up in the ministry, I just suck part. Can't stop in my zone. I just stay in my life. All I know is a part. I do it for one. Cincinnati, it's Elicio. They call me KS, King of Supporters in the building. And I just want to say that I just want to support each and everybody that I can. So if you need any type of support, you can contact me through Facebook. That's Elicio J. Torres. Or you can call me on my cell phone. You can text me at 513-370-4968. I'm looking and I'm willing to connect with each and everybody who ever wants to build God's kingdom. So let's do this. Let's be about our father's business and let's get these souls saved. KS forever. Let's go. All right, what up, what up, what up? What's up, everybody? Um, you got a great show today. It's your man, Elicio Torres, a.k.a. They call me KS. And if you are tuning in for the first time, then KS stands for Kingdom Supporter. And kingdom, meaning the heaven of God, I mean the kingdom of God, and everything about heaven, everything that represents heaven, as far as singing, maybe dancing, maybe poetry, anything that you do as far as a craft or anything that requires effort and you do it unto the glory of God, I would like to support it. So I want, I do want to thank everybody for calling in, everybody for tuning in. Uh, we got a great, 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 great show uh, with, my, with my man Philly TF and my man Juan Thompson. Uh, you guys are going to hear a lot more from both of them. Um, but I do want to say um, shout out to Chrissy Payne because she just released this upside down video for, um, from K Drama's uh, joint called Upside Down, which is from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Um, and I know a lot of you are tuning in, a lot of people are listening. And if you if you are a '90s kid, then you grew up watching the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So if you know who Will Smith is, then you know that that's how, how he got his foundation started as far as an actor and so forth. So shout out to Will Smith and shout out to K Drama for uh for twisting and turning the upside down. So and uh glory to God. Um, we got a lot more things coming up. A lot more things coming up. Um, my man Loso just released. Well, he didn't release it, but Bullet uh, Bullpen League. Um, Loso is a Tampa, uh, Tampa national, uh, national-based rapper, Christian artist. Um, he's a battle rapper out of Tampa, Florida, and he, um, him and I want to say the guy's name is XL. They had a battle. Um, I want to say sometime in August, and I think Loso is he might be foreign or now. I think so because uh, from I haven't seen the video, but it is released. And you can go to YouTube now, and you can like check it, check it out on his uh, on his Facebook profile. And um, so yeah, Loso Loso did a great thing. He did he did an amazing thing. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm anxious to see it. It was released on September fourth, but uh, we got a we got a great show. So I hope you guys are tuned in and uh, strapped in and ready for some new music, some questions. We're gonna ask uh, Mr. Juan Thompson, and we're gonna ask uh, 
my boy and my brother Philly TF. And but right now we're gonna get into some new music. Uh, this track was released by my sister Nakia from Cincinnati, of course. And um, the title of the song is "I Just Want to Worship You." Uh, she sent it to me. Uh, I want to say in like July. She told me like, don't play it until like August 19th, which was the release date. So it's after August. So what I want to do is that I want to support her. And if she's tuning in and listening, shout out to her. And I just want to say thank you, sis. So here is Nakia with I Just Want to Worship You.
right, all right, we back. You are now tuning in and still tuning in to the number one radio show in Cincinnati and the best radio show in the whole Midwest. So that was my sister, Cincinnati Zone, Nakia Shante, with I Just Want to Worship You. And in case if you didn't know what worship meant, um, I have a picture here that I'm looking at that says, Worship, the W in worship means to wait upon the Lord. The O means to offer our lives as a living sacrifice. The R means to rest in his presence. The S means to sing unto him. The H in worship means humble ourselves before him. The I represents the intimacy with God, and the P means pleasing him. So whatever you're doing in your life, worship God. Worship God. Give him whatever Whatever you're going through, whatever situation on the job or whatever situation in your marriage or in your relationship or with your kids or whether you're unemployed or you're looking for a house or whatever the situation might be, give it to God and worship God in spirit and truth and watch God work that thing out. So without further ado, I do have a new song from my man, Million. Um, He's a new artist that I've been following for a while now, I guess, and I just got a hold of some of his music this past summer. He released a project, an EP, actually, titled Long Live the King. And he released, well, when you bought, when you buy the EP from his website, it comes with a video and it comes with an extra single titled Long Live the King, which is one of the tracks on it. So you get two of the same songs along with the whole CD, which is like eight songs or seven songs plus this video. So one one the video that was made for promotional uses is called God Bless You. And basically, um, in the song, what he's talking about is no matter what a person says, no matter what a person thinks, or whether they're friends or family, God bless you. So we're going to get into this track right here. It's called God Bless You by my man Million, representing California. Tune in. Let's go. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hi. God bless you. Walk up in the building like I'm about to start a riot. I told him I was on fire. I ain't trying to hide it. My mission simple. Simple. Put it to the finish. Get him this good, good. Good, good. I'm talking spinach, not chilling. Can't tell me nothing, nothing. See, this ain't. 
Had to tell it all. God bless you. Yeah. 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 God bless you. 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 All right, there was my man, Million, Mr. 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 Million, represent Cali with God bless you. That's G O D B L E S S H A, all one word. So I heard we got Philly TF on the line, man. Let's get him in queue, man. Let's talk to him, man. Let's get let's ask some questions. Let's get some answers. And uh, just in case if y'all didn't tune in last week, y'all missed a great show. But here it is with a back to back episode for the first time ever. My only first guest has been back to back. So, so wow. right now we gonna uh, we gonna tune in, man. And uh, here is Philly TF. Say what's up, man. What's good? What's good, man? Thank you for having me, bro. And that's an honor, man. Back to back. You know, I feel like Mike. In ninety five, ninety six, man. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, well, welcome feeling, back man? to the show. I'm, I'm feeling good, Thank man. You. I'm feeling good. I got, I got to work a little later. Uh, everything is looking up. You know, we got a, got a busy month of October, man. So I'm looking forward to the, uh, the yes, music tournament. Yes, sir. Well, um, well, I do have, I do have a few questions I didn't get a chance to ask you last week. I want to ask you, um. For the people that's tuning in, could you give them a little bit of your testimony? I know I know the time is short and the window of opportunity is short, but uh, we gonna we gonna make it quick. And um, I want you to give your testimony, and then I want you to give your favorite scripture. Favorite scripture, okay. Well, just a a quick backdrop on my testimony. You know, I, uh, like I stated last week, I uh, I come from a you know two parent home, you know, uh, somewhat what you would call a, a good upbringing. But you know, we all have a different journey and path that uh that God has for us, you know. So um I ended up getting involved with the streets. Um, you know, not that I was wanting to do it or was influenced by the streets, but the streets just gravitated toward me, you know. So I, I got into the drug game, um, you know, selling just about everything, you know, I was a, a thief and everything and I even uh had even tried to uh, rob a well attempted to rob a bank before. Um, and, uh, I thank God that it didn't go through, but we did end up like getting chased by the police, man. And, uh, right around a neighborhood that I used to uh, sell from. And, you know, I was, uh, in the shed, um, cause it was like a, a farm type, um, uh, area where, where I ran to and I was in the shed and, um, and it was like a, a horse shed. So there's like, I felt like the prodigal son, you know, there, it was manure, in there it was hot it was hay in there and i was like man god if you get me out of this man like i promise i'll never do nothing like this again you know and i mean i was sweating i just really felt my life was on the line because the police they was just everywhere circling that whole area um the bank we tried to rob and i stood i stayed in that shed for about two hours before i came out and uh and god spared me man because some people that that knew me let me come in their house and uh just, just, just lay low, and that was that was huge in my life. But of course, I still didn't honor my word, um, and just that 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 struggle right there, man, and just seeing God's grace, all that He had on my life, because He had something greater for me. So um, that's just my background, man. Just a uh, life of you know, crime, uh, fornicate, and you know, just being a liar. I had kids. I wasn't a, I was a responsible father. Uh, I, I didn't have a relationship with the Lord. Like I shared last week, you know, it was that moment that my apartment got broken into. That's when I had that that Paul experience where God uh, just seen that vulnerability in my heart and just snatched me right out the game. You know, and, and when I dedicated and submitted my heart to him, all that stuff fell off. And then I found forget, forgiveness and grace. And that's what I try to push the most to people when I minister is that forgiveness and grace is yours. Um, it's just a matter of, of receiving it. So, you know, that, that's just my testimony, man. I mean, it's it's deeper than it's more, but you know, those are just the things that I, that instantly come to mind that I was saved from, 
So when you see me on fire for the Lord now and, and the music that I do to be relatable to the people who've experienced or went through some of the hardships that I have, some of them uh, prematurely, some of them premeditated, you know, we do dictate some of the, the results of our choices in our life. But, you know, thank God that he redeems and that he restores. So uh, I just I just thank God for for bringing me where I'm at today to even be able to use it as a testimony to be an encouragement and to give God glory. Amen. Amen. Now, what's your favorite scripture? Or do you have a favorite scripture? My favorite, man, I, it's, man, the word is so deep. It's so many. Um, I think right now the, the one that really comes to mind that, that I, I hold on to is, um, uh, is by Peter. It's in, uh, it's in second Peter two. And it's, uh, basically it says that God has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Um, it's really about maybe the first nine or 11 verses because then it gives you a different, a different, uh, process and a step that's required for all those things that God has given you that pertains to life and godliness. And, uh, it, it talks about virtue. Um, it talks about righteousness, brotherly kindness. It talks about love. It talks about perseverance. So that if you if you adhere to these things, you know, then you you truly are um, experiencing and living in the life that God has given you. And not only does it take care of you um, spiritually, but it also pertains to your earthly living as well. So it, you know, it's not a scripture scripture that I look at because of what it says that God has given me all things, but it's deeper. It shows me that God has granted me everything that I'm ever going to need in life today and in the future. Um, but also in that, he gives me a set of guidelines to follow to make it happen, you know what I'm saying, to experience what those all things are. And it just shows me that there's nothing more that God can give me that he's already given me. He can't, you can't, you can't get higher than what, higher than what he's already done. So that's my favorite scripture um, that I've been just living on that God has given us and granted us through his mercy and through his son, everything that pertains to life and godliness. The second Peter. Amen. Amen. Well, um, I uh I heard your testimony uh just now about uh about what happened and I have a scripture, it's out of the uh, the Old Testament, it's Ecclesiastes uh, eleven verse I believe it's like five. It might be verse seven. No, it is five. And it says, As you as you do not know the path of of the wind or how the body is formed in a mother's womb, so you cannot understand the work of God, the maker of all things. So God when um when you was in that shit, you, you didn't know how you was gonna get out, you didn't even know if God was listening to you or anything, but by the grace of God he worked it out for you and here you are today. And you didn't even know that he was gonna do it. So that's that's awesome, man. And um that's awesome and uh yeah, God uh of course like we know in Proverbs it says uh the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. But uh but yeah, also in you said second Peter he gives us guidelines. So throughout the whole entire Bible he gave everybody that he used, uh Saul, um, everybody that he everybody that God used he gave guidelines and he gave specific instructions. And sometimes even with like a even with a, who was a, was it Abraham that was about to sacrifice his son and there was a ram in the bush? Right. It was, it's, yeah. it was, a, I'm sure, I'm sure he didn't want to do it, but he, but Adam obeyed God and God gave him specific instructions, which was take his son up to the mountain and offer, offer have him set up as an offering, as a sacrifice. So, um, following the guidelines, uh, is definitely important to a holy life or or a more a more godly life. Let me put it that way, because um, even though that Bible says uh, "Be holy as I am holy," uh, we slip up, we make mistakes, right? We lie, we get we get in our flesh because we're wrapped in flesh. So um, I want you to. I think I have I have slide on them. I have faith for that works, and I have the Panda G mix. So I'm gonna let you right now pick a song and introduce it. Okay. Well, uh, we can uh, get into that slide on them, and, and just a little backdrop on the uh, slide on them joint. Uh, you know, the Lord gave me this EP man for these songs to, you know, really grab the listener's ear because um, we know that music is powerful and that it reaches and influences. 
Um, but I want people in listening to this to understand that the concept is that, you know, Christ received the ultimate hate. You know, we ain't never experienced hate. You know, we, we look at our city maybe hating on us, you know, denying us certain things, our, our neighborhoods, our, our work, our jobs. Uh, you know, the world tells us no sometimes. Um, but when you and even in persecution, that even some people experience, you know, like with just even the whole issue with like, you know, the killings and the violence, you know, what I'm saying this is all a type of hate. And what I want people to really understand from this track is that you have to recognize who your real enemy is and who your real hater is. And it is Satan. He, he, he works behind the flesh. So when people looking at these officers or when they're looking at coworkers or when they're looking at, you know, uh, certain people, family members, you don't look at the flesh. You look at who the real hater is. And the real hater is Satan. And he works behind the flesh. So you can't look at the person. You got to look at who's at work. And real quick, in Genesis 22 and 17, the Lord said that he told Abraham, I'm going to make your seed as numerous as the sand. But people forget the second part where he said, and then I'm also going to give you possession of the gates of your enemies. So when you look at a gate, it's to keep things out and to keep certain things from getting out. And you want to keep Satan out of your camp, but God has given us possession. And so when that hate comes, slide on them. You know, get in your word, because cause Christ slid on all the haters. And now he's seated at the right hand. So this is slide on them, man. Presented by the big homie Alicio, man. Shout out KS Radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, if they hated on Jesus, Jesus, how much, how much or would they hate on me? Hate on me. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. You can't really focus on your haters, man. You have to, you have to keep your focus on Christ, on Christ. On the above things, things, not the things but love, but love. <laughs> My city be hating, my critics be hating, but that's okay. I must slide on you haters. Oh, I must slide on you haters. I must slide on you haters. Oh, they hate for no reason, so I give them a reason. I go harder for Jesus. I go harder for Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Some homies don't like, couple females don't like. But that's okay, I must slide on you haters, I must slide on you haters, I must slide on you haters, oh, what can they say, these numbers don't lie, he makes a way for my God, I go live, the hate is on high, but that's okay, I must slide on you haters, listen up all you haters, oh, listen up. he died for my love, on that cross to rehung, he dripped all that red, look I claim all that blood, it was all that he shed, I lay down tracks, Tuck beats in my head, y'all sleep on my bars, I'm not talking about bed. I'm not talking I'm about bed. I'm addressing the hate, who y'all looking like this? Jesus who we see, my favorite soul won't flee. Y'all not hearing new worship, been signing y'all death. I'm not talking about curse of my life on that check. Saw with a price that covered the debt. Sheesh, him saying daily, hands on my life. How much more was y'all head on my death? Must be that boy. That's okay, my city be hating, my critics be hating, but that's okay, I must lie on you haters, oh, I must lie on you haters, I must lie on you haters, oh, they hate for no reason, so I give them a reason, I go harder for Jesus, I go harder for Jesus, oh, 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 oh. some homies don't like, couple females don't like, but that's okay, I must lie on you haters, I must slide on you haters, I must slide on you haters, oh, what can they say, these numbers don't lie, he makes a way for my God, I go live, the haters on high, but that's okay, I must slide on you haters, listen up all my haters, I was made from above, just like my creator was formed in his image, oh my God is so great, oh my God. Savior, he served us like waiters. Woo! What about that tip though? Tip His death was so legit though. The they was haters from the get go. Boy, I'm nice with the pistol. Like I'm right in my epistle. Whole church looking down at me. Looking down at me. Cause, cause, cause it's music that I make for the streets. What are you saying? What 
Man, that hating gets old. I'm looking for souls. I do his work. He put me on. For Jesus, I'm bold. The hate is so strong. But that's okay. My city be hating. My critics be hating. But that's okay. I'm a slide on you haters. Oh, I'm a slide on you haters. I'm a slide on you haters. Oh, they hate for no reason. So I give them a reason. I go harder for Jesus. I go harder for Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some homies don't like me. Couple females don't like me. But that's okay. I'm a slide on you haters. I'm a slide on you haters. I'm a slide on you haters. What can they say? These numbers don't lie. He makes a way for my God. I go live. The haters on high. But that's okay. I'm a slide on you haters. Slide on them haters. Slide on them haters. Slide on them haters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I can, I think I can sing, man, and for some reason, I'm going to just let me and God just have that. I'm going to slide on anybody who say I can't. <laughs> Amen, amen. Well, we back. There's my man Philly TF with slide on him. Now, 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 Philly man, when is the EP gonna drop? Because I need to know, and the KS Radio Show supporters need to know. The the EP will be dropping officially in October, man. I'm still waiting on management to give me an exact date, but we looking at the first week of October. All right, cool, and cool, of course, cool. The KS radio station will be getting a, a signed copy on Dope Ministries LLC tab, so you already know that that's y'all's. Hey, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Well, fun. um, well, well, I don't think you gave us your booking information last time. Give us your booking information in case somebody wants to book you for an event at their church or graduation party or whatever. Okay, well, if any anybody would love to partake in the ministry that God has given me, you can uh, hit me up through my email, which is uh, phillytf at dopemllc.org. That's phillytf, P-H-I-L-L-Y-T, as in totally, F as in free, at dopem, for ministry, org. I didn't grew up a little bit, man. I, I finally got me my own email address, man. So shout out to God. He's just awesome. Um, and then if you want to hit me up on my on my on my cell, man, area code five one zero three eight four four six six two. Again, that's five one zero three eight four four six six two. That's my uh, my Oakland number because you know I used to live out in L.A. So you know whatever you need. All right. Future, well. Uh... Well, now I mentioned earlier that uh, that we that Chrissy Payne has a a '90s joint out from K Drama, which is an upside down song. Now, if you grew up in the '90s, then you know about Master P, you know about Mystical, you know about Silk the Shocker, and the whole No Limit crew. And Philly T F has made a cover for this Kingdom Mix song titled No Limit. So, Philly, I want you to introduce it right now. I'm gonna let you introduce it. Because it's high and it's new, so I'm going to let you introduce it. Man, I appreciate it, man. Just wanna, first, I just want to thank God, man, because I, I want people to understand that, man, without him, I'm nothing. John 15 and 5, without God, man, I am absolutely nothing. So I just really want to thank you, Alicia. I want to thank Orlando, man. I want to thank KS Radio Station, all of Cincinnati, for just providing an opportunity for, for Christian artists, man, who's trying to build the kingdom and not kings and not themselves, and they seek in God's face and not his hands. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for this opportunity. So without further ado, man, we're going to get to that uh, No Limit cover. And, and really, man, what it was, God just gave me an idea that, like, hey, I want you to put sprinkle a little bit of light on dark. You know what I'm saying? Just sprinkle, just, just season up that because we the salt of the earth. So the No Limit cover is just a – it's a actually, it's a remake of the beat, so it's not the uh, official instrumental of No Limit, but my homie Pyro, uh, he sent it to me and was like, body it. So I said, no problem. And this is the No Limit cover. So I wanted to be a little bit creative, you know, because when you, if you ever listen to the actual No Limit song by Usher, 
Um, you know, there's some themes that he had in the song that's, you know, reference to Master P and some of those joints. So I just said, well, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to, you know, pay a little homage to P, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he, he paved the way on the hip hop side for independent grinds for, for artists. So I just meshed it together and I put that kingdom twist on it, man. So here it is, the No Limit cover, uh, Philly TF. For this lesson, I'm fly as a jet and chill. Just like it's my weapon, no witness gon' witness how dope is my session. Sheesh, the devil finessing. There's no limit track. I'm kingdom rapping. Me and my girl, we do it so big. Just like the Texans, strong in that word. Read when I'm flexing. My swag to the heaven. Swag from the heaven. Look like a blessing. Walking this favor, look how I'm stepping. I'm still hope. The Lord is my plug. We stay connected. Satan been texting. She looking so good and body so reckless. Baby, you come. Face looking bored, she bad as a Lexus. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm flush when I'm tears dry, but my God is aggressive. Hey. He don't be playing that sin, no, I don't no, be playing no, in the no, sin. No, Since no. he was nailed to the cross, no instant replay. He not gonna do it again. Yeah, I'm winning. I heard Philly murder beats. I'm killing. Get that grace card, no limits. Woo. Jesus coming back, it's written. Let me hear you say, uh. Forgiveness, hey, gotta grant you that repentance. Give you that grace card, no limits. Live by faith and not by sight, no limits. DOP, I'm such a Christian, disciple on planet Earth. What is my mission? Let go. Break chains. All right, that was my man Philly TF with the No Limit Cover mix. And we are here, we are live on the KS radio show, the best radio show in Cincinnati. The number one radio show in the whole Midwest, according to facts. everybody I know. <laughs> so, um, so, so yeah, man. Um, Philly, man, I wanna, I wanna give you an opportunity, if I may, right here live on the air. Cares Radio Show is looking for a co-host, and it's gonna be probably starting maybe next month, maybe um, in a couple weeks. And I wanna oh. know if you're interested. Wow. Look how God just worked instantly. <laughs> Man, you know, I, I'm honored, bro. And, uh, you know, I always like to pray on things. But, I mean, you know, this is a, a easy thing. Some things we there there is no uh, prayer for. You just thank God. You just go to him and say, Lord, thank you for this opportunity or whatever you want out of it. So, man, I'll be honored to uh, be a co-host with you, man, and help build this uh, radio station to even greater and, uh, you know, so I, I would gladly accept that, man. I, I'm i actually humbled, man, to to a whole nother level. So that you just even would consider me, man. So, yes, sir, I'll be your right-hand man. Amen, amen. Now, um, I um, I give you the details when, when, um, when we get off the air. But, uh, but we do have a call online. Hopefully they're still available. So we're going to let them through. Um, Orlando, let them through. Let's see who we got on the line. Press one right Shout now and uh, Orlando. Shout out to Orlando. So press one right now and uh, interact into the show. Talk to Philly. Leave us a comment. Yo yo. Don't be scared. Yo. Yeah. Hello. Did they push the number? They. <laughs> Hello. Call you. You are live. You're live. What's up? Who is this? Who's calling? 
It might, it, I guess it's me. Can you hear me talking? Yep. Oh, man. I did it. Uh, this was God. Put me on the spot. This is Thomas Charlton, man. Uh, I wasn't even ready to speak. I think I, I hit the uh, one button <laughs> with my phone in my pocket. But uh, what's going on, y'all? <laughs> what's up, Steve? I'm shocked. I, I was not expecting this. Not much, man. Um, I'm out here on tour with the family, with Zach. Um, I'm in San Bernardino, California. But, of course, I had to tune in this week and, uh, you know, catch my boy Philly TF again on the air with um, Alicio and, you know, KS Radio. Shout out to everybody who is listening in Cincinnati and Dayton and Columbus, all over the country. Um, every time I tune in, man, I'm blessed to just, uh, hear you all share your testimonies. And um, I checked out the video to that No Limit, uh, actually, last night. Um, it's pretty dope, man. And, uh, of course, Philly, I love what you're doing, man, with your music and uh, even more with your testimony. And, uh, yeah, man, I don't I don't really have too much to say. I just, uh, I'm blessed. And, um, you know, I'm just out here ready to continue to promote the kingdom of God, you know, through our music and our artistry. And, uh, you know, I'm just humbled to be able to share the air with some guys like you all. Y'all bless me, man. Uh, you'll probably catch me calling in every week. I'm honored, yes, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that that love, man. And I'm glad for the connection as well. And, you know, however God wants me to serve in this with, with others who's built in, um, I'm always up for it, man. So uh, thank you for checking out the video, man. If, if anybody hasn't, the video is on YouTube. Uh, just go to Philly TF, uh, No Limit Challenge. And um, and shout out my wife, man. She actually did, she actually did the shooting. The, she got the the shots, um, oh, like her cool. second time ever doing anything with a video with me. We actually did that video the same night I posted it at like three in the morning. It was the same day it actually got done. And me and the family, you know, because it's a real journey. Me and the family got in the van and drove down to the studio, and and they they sacrificed sleep, you know. what I'm saying that for me to get that video out. So you know, I definitely want to shout out my wife. Um, my, my kids, man, my kids, moms, um, for just, you know, helping me raise my kids and teaching me as well. The woman is powerful as well. Cause they, they taught yeah, me man. how to, to raise my kids because, you know, I ain't always been there for them, but they've been there since day one. So, you know, I want to definitely shout out my kids, moms, and, you know, no matter what, you know, just always thank God for everything that you have, even in the situations that look like they in the dirt, God always produced diamonds out of it. So, the video, man, it's, it's on YouTube. Please check it out. Like it, comment it, share it. It's just to build the kingdom, not me. So, you know, God's going to take care of me regardless. Yeah. Man, I got a question uh, for you, if you don't mind me asking, and it's just to put on my heart. What is your ultimate mission, um, you know, being a vessel and using this platform, you know, the entertainment industry? Because, you know, it's so corrupt right now. What is mm-hmm. what is your main goal? Um being an artist and a minister through your music? I would say, man, my, my main overall objective is to adhere to the great decree, to go out and make disciples of men in the name of Christ. Now, that's going to come in a different format, though. It's going to come on a different platform. But my overall goal is to enter into where it's dark at and to just be that light. Now, that don't mean at all that I got to be at a concert praying for people or when I'm on a radio station, you know, constantly just saying, hitting them with the Jesus tag. It could just mean that, man, my walk is what's going to do so much more to talking. My walk is going to be so much more of a vivid picture of my life because if what you do in public don't match what you do in private, then it's, it's, then you got to really reconsider what you're doing. And I want my private life to reflect my public life in terms of my relationship with the Lord. So to really sum that answer, I just want to be impactful. I don't want to be effective. I want to be impactful for God's glory. And if that come by a career out of it, cool. You know what I'm saying? I just want to reach people, man. I want people to have a, a another conscious that, look, that there's greater in me than what I'm putting out. And I don't have to receive what the world says that I have to. And I don't have to live by the guidelines of what the world says I have to. And what I mean by that is for this younger generation, you know, smoking, drinking, um, listening to that type of music, uh, seeking after material things. 
I want the world to know that, man, there's some intangible things that I can find that's fulfilling. And I'm sorry, at the end of the day, man, that's only in Christ. Because he said, this joy I give you, the world can't give you. You can have joy for a little bit, but after a while, man, it's like, you know, water is good. It quenches the thirst, but you still, at the end of the day, going to want some more water. And the Lord, the woman at the well, the Sumerian, he said that this water I give you, though, not only will you no longer thirst, but, man, you still, you won't even hunger. You know, so I just want people to just have a, another aspect of, of, of life, man. And, and, and we're the we're the testimony. We're the vessel, me and you, Alicia, Orlando. We're the proof yeah. that that there is a, a change that can happen and it's powerful. So that, that's my overall goal, man, just to be a disciple on planet Earth. That's why I'm so dope. And I don't mean that yeah. in an arrogant way. I mean that in a disciple on planet Earth way. Man. Yeah, that's blessed, man. Uh, I can't I appreciate really that question, man. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I've never really Absolutely. been asked that question before. So, uh, yeah, thank you for asking that, bro. Absolutely, man. Your, your answer, you know, I mean, it's, it's humbling. It's humbling for me as a young man, um, you know, just as a vessel, because you, when you make a decision to follow Christ, that is when life gets difficult. And, you know, the anxiety comes in, the fear and the doubt, like, it plays mind games with you. And, um, you mm-hmm. know, people don't really understand the discipline that it takes to really be a vessel because, um, right. you know, there was a time, you know, I'm just making a, a full transition into really walking in, in Christ in my private and my, uh, you know, public life. Like, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I've, I, I've struggled with a lot of different um, addictions and, you know, um, I used to be a hypocrite, man, and, go, you know, fornicating and doing things behind closed doors that, uh, you know, when I got mm-hmm. in front of people, it would be a different story. And, you know, it's like, man, I, we have to work every day diligently to reflect our, our uh, you know, the real person that we are. Like, because people have these alter egos as artists, you know, they're one way and then you see them in the, in the streets or see them out, you know, on the road and they cussing and, all of this other stuff, man. So, um, you know, right. I appreciate you for being an example of how to live both ways, you know, or, or live both lives one way. Hey, Amen. Yes, sir. Appreciate that, man. You as well, bro. You know, I, I, I see what you're doing and, uh, it's a, it's a great thing. So, you know, I, um, uh, I'm just honored to, you know, be able to be in the same category with you guys, man, and, and just able to, um, you know, share the gift and the testimony because this walk ain't easy. It's not easy at all. It's not at all. It gets difficult. It gets rough. It gets trying. But, you know, the Lord said, don't be weary in your well-doing. Plus, he took that on the cross. He took that uh, that tiresome, that weary feeling. He took that with him so that we know that if he overcame the world, man, there's nothing for us to do. He's our greatest example. So it, it's easier said than done, of course. But, man, when you really find yourself living in the right man, and that right man being the, the the Holy Spirit that the Lord talks about in John 15, that abiding, when you remain in him and his life lives in you, man, you, you win nonstop. Even when it gets rough, you win, period. So just, just keep that in mind. And all Amen. the listeners, man, just keep that in mind, you know. Amen. Well, I've enjoyed Thomas and Philly TF. Uh, Thomas, I do want to thank you for calling in and tuning in, and I do wish you God's traveling grace and his mercy um, as you travel back to Ohio whenever you come back, whoever you're traveling with. I do I do wish God's traveling grace and mercy upon you as well as my pastor because he's out in California right now as well. I think Amen. he's in L.A. Though. But, uh, but, yeah, God bless you, and uh, thanks for calling in. Absolutely, man. I look forward to, uh, to to getting on, man, and just having more conversations with you all. Praise God. You too, bro. Be blessed, man. Love you. I love you too, bro. Amen. Well, uh, well that was Thomas. Uh, so we're going to continue with the show. Uh, Philly, I don't know if you have, like, a lot of more, a, a lot more minutes left, but uh, we're going to continue on with the show right now. I want to lead into Faith Without Works. It is my favorite song right now, and um, okay. I cannot stop listening to it when I'm cleaning the church or when I'm walking down the street or when I'm on my break at work. So here is Philly TF with Faith Without Works, F-W-O-W. Let's get to it. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. 
You already, you already know, know what, what it is. is. James, James said, said, you show me show some faith, you better show, show me some me work. work. Let's go! Let's you go. Hey. 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 Favorite hey. words is so dead. Favorite hey. words is so dead. I show you the faith that you give me that work, homie. Favorite hey. words is so dead. 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 God, I bring you the faith. Yo, that favorite hours is so dead. Favorite hours is so dead. Favorite hours is so dead. I got swag with my faith. Swag with my faith. I got swag with my faith. Cause I'm saved by that grace. I got swag with my faith. Swag with my faith. I got swag with my faith. Swag with my faith. Cause that favorite hours is so dead. Favorite hours is so dead. God, I give you my faith. Do you give me that work? I said favorite hours is so dead. I had work in the kitchen. No faith. Pass on the stove, yo, I'm whipping up bass. Now I just trapped for the kingdom with grace. Chef in a booth, boy, a flame made of waste. Man, I go wave, bands on the skate. Bored with that sin, I'm so born again. My worship for real, the devil can't steal. Call me a kiss for the beat, I just killed. These women look nice, flesh out of my sex out of sight. I'm covered in red like it's carries from night. My bars go all night, keep my head up so high. So high in the heavens where I'll be with Jesus in my so fresh cause I'm up out the desert My faith is big weight I don't gotta measure Dripping in favor That's better than treasure Better than treasure If you question me, homie God is my answer Faith without words is so dead Faith without words is so dead God, so I bring you the faith Then you give me that work Yo, that faith without words is so dead Faith without words is so dead Faith without words is so dead I got swag with my faith Swag with my faith I got swag with my faith Cause I'm saved by that grace I got swag with my faith I show you the faith that you give me that work, homie. Favor that words is so dead. 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 God, I bring you the faith that you give me that work, yo. That favor that words is so dead. Favor that words is so dead. Favor that words is so dead. I got swag with my faith. Swag with my faith. I got swag with my faith. Cause I'm saved by that grace. I got swag with my faith. Swag with my faith. I got swag with my faith. Swag with my faith. So dead, dead, dead. Woo. Faith that our works is so dead. Faith that our works is so dead. What? I got swag. So yeah. What? Swag on my faith. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was told I was told that while we were playing Faith with our works that we have another caller. So caller, if you're still on the line, we appreciate you and we're gonna let you through so you can have a word, have a moment with Philly TF and be live on the KS Radio Show right now. So, caller, let them in. Let them in. Let them in. Hello? Hello? You are live. Yo. Oh, hi. I just wanted to call and support my brother. <laughs> oh, it's my kid, sis. Oh, hi, Everybody, you miss. This is my hey, sister, brother. man. My, <laughs> my, uh, my, my 10 month. My ten month twin, who I love dearly, she uh she she raised me to a certain degree, even though I'm older than her, but she took care of me. So what's what's good, sis? Nothing much, you know. I'm not big on talking. I just wanted to call and support. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I appreciate you, man. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is great. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, thank you. And you know, I'm pr- I'm just as equally as proud as you, man. Pr- proud of you. So, uh, thank you for calling in. And you know, we gonna get the work you know, with you as well. We just got to get to it. But, uh, but I thank you for calling in those things. You ain't, you got a question for me or, or Alicio or, or anything, or you just want to just call in and let us hear your beautiful voice. Yeah. You know, I don't <laughs> like talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll shout you out. Huh? I said, yep. So anyway, I just want to call and support and let you know I'm listening in. Okay. Well, thank you, sissy. Love you. You're welcome. 
I love you, and I'll see you later. All right. God bless. Okay. Bye, guys. Later. Okay. All right, Phyllis. So, 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 who was that? Uh, that was my. That was actually my sister, my younger sister. We only got one. Uh, my sister, India. She uh, right, called well. in to support. All right. Well, shout out to India. Um, I'm giving you a personal shout out, and I just want to say thank you um, for tuning into the KS Radio Show, and thank you for being brave enough to hit that number one key because I get a lot of callers and people be like, "Oh man, I really enjoyed the show," and then like they don't want to get on the air. So I want to say thank you for being brave enough to tune in and interact into the show. Uh, yes, sir. What's the time frame? What's the time frame? Uh, I got. I think I got a few more minutes. Philly, I want to ask you. Um, what are your two? What What are two? most influential things to you and your growth as a man, which is a human, or as an artist? Hmm. Most influential. Um, well, first, of course, you know, my dad, uh, definitely, because, I mean, my dad stayed around. Um, so that in itself, you know, is, is very influential because I think by me, well, I ain't going to say I think, I know by me having my dad in my life and then how he introduced me into my father, uh, you know, Father God, but having my, my earthly dad in my life was, was huge because it gave me a moral compass. You know what I'm saying? It, it gave me a set of integral rules to live by, you know, to respect women no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Don't put your hands on a woman. You know, my dad was in the military as well. He had a, a short stint in the military, and, you know, he, he taught me uh, in so many ways you know, cleanliness, you know, making your bed. He like, my dad would wake up. He'd wake me up for school. He'd be like, man, get up. It's time to get ready for school. Well, hold on. Look, look real quick. My dad would walk in the room to get us up for school, singing this old church song. He would come in the room loud, talking about some rise, shine, give God the glory, glory, rise, shine, give God the glory. I'm like, man, what are you doing? <laughs> and he would wake me and my sister up with that song every morning. And then he, after he would get done singing and tell us that breakfast was on deck, he'd be like, oh, yeah, don't forget, I want those four corners of that mattress to be crisp. I want them sheets crisp. You know, so I really thank God for my dad, man, because he, he gave me that that conscience to, you know, want to live a, a functional uh, a life, you know what I'm saying, based off of, of just, you know, good deeds and stuff, and this, and, and him giving his life to the Lord. Um, and then as far as, um, like, artistry go, influential, um, now this is just what's going to be crazy. I got about four projects out uh, that, you know, they, they like, four mixtapes um, that I put out, and, and these, all these, you know, they online or whatever, but all of them were me basically, I don't want to say proving who I was in Christ, but I was just like, bold. Like, you know, I, I leave secular rap and I come right to Christian and I still maintain my same swag, my same, you know, a, approach lyrically and, and with the style and stuff. But for influence, inf, for influence with music, man, I don't know if anybody's familiar with him, but uh, Jordan Armstrong, he actually, yeah. his, and his, Right. You know what I'm saying? His last project was called Confident. And he actually, when I listened to his EP, man, it actually gave me confidence to be like, hey, man, it's okay for you to make this subjective music and really relate to the people how you really need to. And that's where the dope EP came from as far as having that confidence to be like, you know what, I'm going to put this out. And yet some of the church may not, to a certain degree, uh, like it. Of course, you know, I, I mean, I don't have... My music, it can be played anywhere, in a church or in a club. I just was at a club last night and ministered. You know, I'm talking about I was in the Lions Den last night, one Eye Jack. Shout out my man Lito. But, you know, the Lord has made opportunity for my music to be received both in both spectrums. And I want to really, you know, shout out Jordan Armstrong for that because that confident project, you know, his his uh his video, Bless Up, he had his jewels on, you know what I'm saying, it, his it, it, his lyrics and his content, yeah, it's still golly, but it's, it's it's raw at the same time. So that really helped me, man, to put out a project that is going to be my biggest one. Yeah, like I've been working on this project since March of uh, of this year, and I'm just now finally able 
to get ready to have it submitted, you know what I'm saying, for it to be put out uh, globally. And I learned how to mix and master myself. So every joint that you've heard, God gave me that inspiration, like learn how to do it yourself, be a complete artist. So I did all the mix and all the post work. You know, I paid for every beat. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Larkin Productions. He he produced the whole project. Um, so these are just some things that people don't that don't know don't go on behind the scenes. You know, be in the studio till three, four, five o'clock in the morning, um, listen to the same song over and over and over and over. You know, when you find your why, when you get that answer for what your why is for what you're doing, what you're doing it for, then passion wakes you up, not an alarm clock. And passion keeps you up, not a Red Bull. And the spirit of God is what it leads you through it, you know what I'm saying, not your flesh. So, I mean, I know I be really elaborating. I, I'm really long with it. I apologize, man. But I want people to really know, like, man, I, I feel like I have a personal relationship with Philly TF through Alicio and KS Radio. Hey, man. Um, I, uh, now, now, you know, everything that we're doing in October, <laughs> we got the Kino Image Awards. And then we got the music right. tournament. I'm so yes, ready for sir. this. One. You don't even understand. Woo! Hey, I'm so bro, ready for this. When I say it's, when I say it's gonna be the lituation, it's gonna be crazy. You know, we in the process of drafting. You know, the the final eight rappers, and we we've already got four of them in right now. Cincinnati killing. You know, I can't get no names because I'm not privy to do that. But I will say that that the natty is 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 definitely holding it down. And we even had a case come up where we had a uh, the, the talent is so stacked that we have a backup already for a certain you know situation in this. So, and man, it's it's gonna be crazy. You know, it's gonna be a, the venue is dope. Um, it's big for Ohio. I mean, this thing is gonna be huge, man. And shout out Juan, man, Juan Thompson, CEO of IS, IACS Music Music Sports, man. Um, it's gonna be on the Olympics. In 2028, we got Alicio holding it down at the event, man, on the, on the hosting side, man. So, you know, shout you out, man. Uh, you know, just, man, God is just awesome, man. You know what I'm saying? And not because of what he do, but because of who he is, man. Hey, man, hey, man. Uh, I think we got one more caller, and then and then we gonna, uh, then we going to close out the episode. So, caller, right now, uh, you are you are welcome to tune in. You are welcome to interact. So, press 1 right now and tune into the show. Let's go hit the one button. Do, 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 do. Caller, you're live. Caller? 47772, four, you're live. Nine three seven four seven 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 two. you're live. All right. Go to the just next. hit the one button and then just talk for seventy four ninety eight. You're live. Hello. I just want to say hi. Hello. Hello. What up? Hello, Felicia. So white. What's she say? It it sounds like she said it's your wife. <laughs> I only got one wife. Hold on. Which wife? Exactly. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. What's she say? Me. She sounds far away. Yeah, I can't really hear you. My bad. I said I'm I'm just now tuning in, so I missed everything. Yeah, oh, we just send you the link. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah we'll we'll hi. get you the link. Okay. <laughs> yeah, did you all. get? Did, you probably missed your shout out too. Then again. Oh yeah, again. Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, I appreciate you tuning good. in. Of course. Right. All right. <laughs> you. Is that it? You. <laughs> that, that's all. Okay. That's all. all right. Well, I appreciate your support, man. I love you. <laughs> oh, y'all are too cute. Y'all are too cute. <laughs> well, thanks for calling in, Philly. Um, I want you to. Uh, I want you to close this out in prayer. No doubt, for sure, man. All right, if all minds is clear and hearts prostrated to the Lord, Father God, Lord, I just thank you for this moment and opportunity that you have presented yourself uh, through this platform, Lord. I just want to just first give you the glory and honor and thanks, Father, for uh, not passing over us, for 
considering us, even though you didn't have to, Lord God, you are the creator of the of the world. You are the God who sent your son to, to shed his, his righteous and, and, and precious blood for us. And yet, Lord, even though we were made lower than the angels, Father God, and, you know, yet you've esteemed us with glory and honor, you know, so what are we to you that you just even care about us that much that you're more concerned about us loving, uh, you love us knowing that you love us than, than how much we even can imagine how much to love you. So I just thank you for this radio station, for all the callers, for all the artists, man. Shout out all the artists, Lord God, that you will continue to increase and improve their ministry, Lord God, that you will put them in the, the right places at the right time, Lord Jesus. I thank you for Elicio and KS Radio Station, Lord God, and the big homie Orlando, Lord Jesus, that they work hard, Father God, preparing this um, for just you. It's just one audience member, and it's you, Lord God. And we're just a guest, Lord God, just wanting to be in your show. So I just thank you for looking over us, for protecting us, Lord Jesus, and just for your blood and giving us this this ministry to just reach others, Lord God, who may be lost, who may be struggling, who may be straggling the fence, Lord God. We thank you for revealing your your true nature to them so that they can come to their senses and repentance and get to know who you really, really are, Father God. So we thank you for all these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Now listen to all my supporters and people that have called in and tuned in. I got another episode next Saturday. What is it? The seventeenth. I want to say it's the seventeenth at twelve o'clock from with my boy from New Jersey, repping New Jersey. My man Black Rider will be on the KS Radio Show next Saturday. But uh, keep in contact with Philly Man. Go like his artist page and uh and and call him for for features or email him for for beats or whatever it is that you want him to do or maybe even a prayer request or whatever. Get in contact with Philly. Get in contact with Philly. Get in contact with Philly. So with that Google being me, said, uh, Google me. Google me. So, so yeah, we're going to close out the show. And um, if you are following us or if you are friends and family members of us, uh, hopefully you guys will be able to come to Tip City, Ohio with us for the music sports tournament with my man Juan. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm right. sorry he didn't call in today, but I got some questions to him. I'll, call, I'll give him a call and get some more information. So, yeah, uh, thank you all for – yeah, Juan, you're supposed to call in, man. But uh, thank you, everybody that registered. And thank you, everybody, for the draft picks. And I'm sure Philly already know who else is going to be picked and what all the subjects are that's for everything that's required. So get in contact with Philly, and then thank you for tuning in to the KS Radio Show. So we see you all next week. Orlando, take us out with Sorry. Philly TF Panda G Mix. Let's go. Let's get it. God bless y'all, man. I'm just saying, I want to put my twist on it. Let go. Can hip hop let me in? Because I'm here. Worth dying for. Worth killing for. Worth going to hell for. I'm just trying to save souls. Get right. Get right. Get right. Still going to be dope, though. Honda. D-O-P-E. Disciple on planet Earth. Come on, man. Come on. I got prayers for Atlanta, Atlanta. Going ham on this panda, panda. This is me, no fan, no fan. Legacy, I'm a legend. I'm just so love, so love. Yeah, I'm Christian, so what? OG Kush was rolled up. Now I'm saved, so so. This is me, not the fan. Say your blessings where your man was. He was mad with the hammer. Hammer, take the cross for the scammer. Either the be in the panda. Body verses for the ransom. Killing sin, that's my anthem. You can't bless it like Samson. I know hitters from the A. With killers who don't play. Now I'm saved by the K. I ain't G on the way. I'm trying to tell you not to wait. You don't want to wait till it's late. All these signs in your face. Here's your sleep for a way. All these fake roll my play. Ain't no room for the hate. Looking down on the fame. Different views like I'm Drake. Girl, I'm like, pile it. Ooh, she bite it. Tried it. Never talking. Quiet. Say myself, who can buy it? The hood be like, what happened? Tell them Jesus saved me when they ask him. Put that old life in the casket. <laughs> Louis V on my bag. My past got baggage. Woo! I got prayers for Atlanta. Atlanta. Going ham on this panda. panda. This is me. No fan, no fan. Legacy. I'm a legend. I don't judge. So love. So love. Yeah, I'm Christian. So what? So what? OG Kush was rolled up. Rolled up. Now I'm saved. So so. so, so. This is me, not the fan. I'm Say your blessings where your man is. He was mad with the hammer. Hammer. Took the cross for the scammer. Body verses for the ransom. I'm killing sin, that's my anthem. You can't flex it like Samson.
Bobby, you're here again. Yeah, my doctor told me to reduce stress at work, so I come to Buffalo Wild Wings to eat lunch and watch sports. I get to pick one of seven entrees, like sandwiches and salads, plus one of seven sides. Well, I like sides. It's so affordable, I can finally take a vacation. Where are you going to go? Here, Tim, here. Introducing the new B-Dubs Fast Break Lunch Menu, starting at a new low price. Dine-in or order takeout weekdays between 11 and 2. Participation and availability may vary. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports.